Whoa. Whoa, slammed it right by the boat. Right, trout on the day. Maybe, if he doesn't go back in the water. Whew. All right. From head to tail, we're sitting almost at, we're a little over 16 and a half. All right, so we're out here, we're gonna be casting on these docks, we're gonna be working them, hopefully find something good. We're gonna be throwing this Ugly Stick Elite on this Pin Battle 2, this little 2500. We got a popping cork with a two and a half, that's probably three foot, three foot fluorocarbon leader, 20 pounds. We're using a tiny little quarter ounce egg weight as you can see right there. We got a live shrimp on a circle hook. Hang off the back while we cast south the front. Just chuck that back. Get some distance between me and my popping cork. Loosen the drag. Strap it in, set it back. That's a fish. Fish on the popping cork. Not too. Time to drag a little. Fish might be a trout. Looks like a catfish. Got catfish. It's not really an interesting fish, but it's a hardhead saltwater catfish. Looks pregnant and fat, so we're gonna, obviously we don't eat these, so we just let those go away, swims off. Let's keep fishing. Another one. Oh, see it's not down. This one's gonna be a little closer to 15. Woo! All right, so we got a little 15 and a half inch trout. We're gonna go ahead and keep him. Check out those crazy mouths. One more, get my limit. It's two trout. Oh, crap. Tell them even where to cast, and apparently something smoked my popping cork. I haven't even put the other fish up yet. Another catfish. All right, so we got another hardhead saltwater catfish. Okay, so far I've caught in like two trout, few catfish. If you're wondering what we're throwing today, we're throwing my Moho Inshore. It's a St. Croix rod. It's a seven foot, six inch, medium light, fast action on a Shimano Stratic 3000. We have 15 pound braid, jigs for pigs, quarter ounce jig head on a Flap and Shad Gambler Go Fish with a two and a half, three foot fluorocarbon leader.
Oh my god, what is that? Do I have a ray? I think I just got over. Got a ray, I think. I've never had to unhook a stingray so far on my kayak, so this is not gonna be fun. Depending on how big he is. He feels pretty big. These are the dangerous ones. These are the ones with the barbs. Gotta be careful though. So I got a stingray. These are the ones with the barbs, so I gotta be really careful with them, especially in my kayak. He's got some crazy brown color. Look at those eyes staring right at me. I'm gonna dehook them. Try not to get smacked. Got him off and he went back. Safe as can be, got my hook and everything. A little sketchy de-hooking stingrays on your kayak, I'm not gonna lie, but I got the job done. Well, I'm throwing the same thing I caught my gator trout on, the Gambler Go Fish Flap and Shad four inch paddle tails, except they're not regular paddle tails, they have a flat paddle like a manatee almost, and that's what they look like, so. They are doing the job, man, they are doing it. Oh, here we go. No, he dropped it. Did he? No, he's on. He's on. Whoa! He didn't even fight. Calm down. He got bit by something. Look at that bite mark. All right, so there's another trout. Look at these, this bite mark this guy got. You hear him grunting, that's a male. So he's sitting right over 17 inches. So you can see we got his nose pushed on there. 17 inches. Look at those teeth. That was my third trout of the day. That's my limit. You can keep three trout in Florida, 15 to 19 inches. Because I do have me, my girlfriend, and my friend, we were gonna keep all three of them. Usually I'd keep two just for me and my girlfriend. But hopefully we can get a little more for him. We're gonna keep fishing on our way back to the dock.